the professional stream. This improv story is based on the ideal man wakes up in a car let the story commence. Craig was knackered. So he went for a wee daytime nap in his house in the living room. When he woke up, he was like, oh, what's that sound? He must have left the window open. He could hear motors going by outside his living room. He's like, but I don't stay in a very busy street. Woke up. He was he had he was uh, in a, a driver's seat, a motor, his motor. He was like, oh, fucking hell. Police motor turned up, traffic police turned in, in front of him and went um came out and went, uh uh, you can't if you're broken down, you can't be in your car, you have to get outside. He said, I've no bro I don't think I've broken down. He's like, right, you can't, are you sleeping? Um, I, I think, well, I thought I was, I was, um, have you been drinking, sir? Uh, contrary to the, uh, to the drive, drink drive act, 1978, Scotland. He went, no, 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 you can breathalyse me if you want. No, 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 just, no, I've just, I've just, uh, because I just woke up just to be a bit confused. Right, you can't, you can't just go asleep in your car. I know, but I, I think I must have been quite um, tired and I would rather be at the side of the... I, I get what you're saying. We know we've got the signs up. Don't, you know, don't... If you're tired, you know, pull over. The, we've got the rhyming thing. I can't remember what it is. What's the, the, the rhyming thing? Uh, uh, tiredness kills. You know, we've got the rhyming thing. Tiredness kills. Um, Craig went right. So you're gonna, you actually, you have to pull over to a service station. So and so forth. Uh, contrary to the thereby henceforth. And Craig went right, right. I'll, 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 uh, I'll head there then. Right, okay. Just don't do that again. If I see you again doing this, I am gonna have to issue you with a, with a. Uh, a, a caution and a thing which may lead to um, up to three points on your license um, in uh, in accordance with the 1972 um, Scotland Act. So Craig drove to the nearest service station and he went in and he went, what am I fucking doing here? And he's like, right, I need to go for a nap. I don't need a nap anymore. I've, I've just um, been for one. So he saw a puggy, which is a wee nickname we've got up here that I never really used, but I heard it in Millport, other people using it. Uh, a nickname for a slot machine, fruit machine, one arm bandit, whatever you want to call they things. Or they things. Uh, slot machine, fruit machine is what we would call it. Fruit machine. I never really called it the puggies or a puggy. Um, so... He thought, fuck it, we'll stick a tether in that and see how it goes. P-U-G-G-I-E-S. Puggies. So he stuck a few quid in. And he was like, all the lights were all like that. Twinkling. Kind of like that. And he started going like this. And he fell asleep. And when he woke up, he was back on his fucking couch. And who's? He's like, wait a minute. And he went back to sleep and he woke up in his motor. There's a fucking police coming again. This time writing out a fucking ticket. He went like that. Went to sleep. Um, woke up in his house. He's like, wait, 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 wait. Right, hold on. Right, he thought, right, I'm going to fall asleep again, right, and he fell asleep again, and he woke up and he's back in his motor, Paulus was coming up, and he went, fuck it, Paulus came up and went like that, like writing something down, and he thought this is the, the Paulus who'd seen him before, but the Paulus went like that, hi sir, um, have you broken down? Because you can't sit, no, no, no. He's like, this has happened before. He said, this is like Groundhog Day. 
What's that song? I'm like reliving like the same day. Tell me what what day is this? And the post went, why it's Tuesday? No. What year? And the post went like that. Post was drinking out a brown paper bag with like, booze in it. Went like that. What year? Like that. And Craig went like that. I'm out of here. And he drove away and he went back to the serv service station. Put another tenner in the puggy. And he went, wait then, because he didn't win in anything before. He thought, right, go to sleep, woke up on his couch, went to sleep, woke up on his motor, post comes there, I sorry, sorry, I'll go to the service station. Service station, and then waited next next to the puggy, next to the, the, the fruit machine. Some dafty came up, stuck about fucking 20 quid in, got nothing. Then Craig put his tenner in. Got the jackpot. He's like, right, now what I need today now, and, and he, so he went to sleep, woke up, checked his pockets in his, in his living room. Didn't have any money. He's like, right, I need to somehow make the money um, be outside of this loop so I, can, so I can accumulate it. So he went back to sleep, woke up in his motor on the motorway, Paulus Parter, service station, Waited for the guy to put the uh, 20 quid in, whatever it is. Craig put his 10 in, got the jackpot. Then, went up to the woman behind the counter and said, I tell you what it is. He says, in fact, no, hold on a minute. I'm going to try this myself. And he, he went and put his wee pile of money that he'd won jackpot. It's about 50 fucking quid, by the way, these days. Put his wee pile of money behind the fruit machine, behind the puggy, right? And just in case he came back next loop and the money was gone and he couldn't work out, I but is it gone for the for the system? Or did somebody actually see it and steal it? He there was a bit of dust, quite a lot of dust behind the um behind the the fruit machine, so uh, against the tiles. So he drew a wee kind of circle, drew a wee circle and a wee kind of wee smiley face, right? He went to sleep, he woke up on his couch, sleep again, back at the motorway. Drove to the service station, went to the puggy, looked behind it, no money there, and no smiley face drawn in the dust on the tiles behind it. The dust was still there, and nobody's went like, oh, steal the money, and, like, draw fucking dust back on, do you know what I mean? Right, so that's out of the loop. I mean, that's, it's, 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 it's looping, it is looping. So he went up to the counter, and, well, first of all, he got the jackpot. He went up to the counter, and he said to the woman, right, I'll tell you what it is. Uh, how do I explain this one? I'm looking for some sort of uh, box, a uh, Tupperware kind of plastic box that somehow if I put money in it well how do I I'm not explaining this very well I'm in a kind of have you seen the uh, have you seen the film The Groundhog Day and she went oh I ground, Groundhog Day I The Groundhog Day she went I Groundhog Day I have seen Groundhog Day he went yeah that's what I said I I've seen Groundhog Day I so it's seeing The Groundhog Day you know how he's in a look, I, in, the, in Groundhog Day, yep. He's like, why do you keep saying that? Well, why do you keep saying The Groundhog Day? Because I'm talking about the film The Groundhog Day. It's Groundhog Day. It's no The Jaws or The Superman. It's no The Groundhog Day. It's Groundhog He's like, it doesn't matter. Listen, I'm going to make, I'm, I've, I've got, you're about to make a lot of money if this works out. I'm looking for... I kind of like Tupperware, uh, do you still get Tupperware? That's something that my mom used to have. No, you get Tupperware, but there's lots of generic brands and nameless sort of ones you get on Amazon. And, right, right, right. I'm looking for a plastic sort of container that I can put money in. You see, I'm in a loop. 
that is outside the loop. You see, I'm winning money out of that fucking machine there. I'm winning the jackpot. And I would like to be able to put money in this uh, tub. And then when I come back, the next loop, everything else is reset. But that isn't it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, she says, no, no, say it again. He said the whole thing again. She's like, right, I get it. Uh, I don't, how, how would we know? How would, why would there be a tub that exists that's outside of the loop? He says, well, there might be. She went right enough. She says, try this one. And she went into a cupboard. And it was a Tupperware, uh, kind of plastic sort of. Th she says, try that one. And he tried that. He put his money in that. He puts it behind. He says, no, don't try and steal this because I've got, a, I've, I'm putting a wee thing behind there to work out if this is getting stolen. So don't try and steal it. So he went, he fell asleep, right, came back. Woke, woke, woke up on the couch, asleep, woke up in the motorway, made his way back. The Tupperware box was not there, behind the machine, and he drew that, you know, the wee face again, and it was it was gone. He went, right, that didn't work. She went, sorry? He said, that didn't work. What didn't work? The machine isn't, the, the, the fruit machine isn't working. That's not a responsibility. You're going to have to phone the number on it if it's taking your money. He says, no, 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 no. Oh, right, wait a minute. Get a Groundhog Day. I'm thinking of the Groundhog Day here. She's like, huh? You had to explain the whole thing again. And you know what the funny thing is? See, this the second time that you explained it. She was like, hi, right, uh, can, what can I get you? She wasn't as receptive as she was the first time, which is strange because it's the same things he's saying. But, you know, everything's different. Everything's, everything's always kind of different. Anyway, we changes can affect all sorts. He said, so he explained the whole thing. He says, can I try, don't know that tub. She brought it the same one. He went, no, that didn't work before. And they went through every, like, tons of them, about 10, 11 tubs, until we came back. And you look behind the fruit machine. And... The tub was there with the money in it for the previous fucking loop. So this tub worked. So he said, this is fucking good. So he won the jackpot again. Another 50 quid. Put that 50 quid in with that fucking box with the already 50 quid in it. 50 quid already in it, so it's 100 quid, put it behind the box, uh, put it behind, got the box, got, put that in that same box, and he thought, wait a fucking minute, what if I get multiple boxes and all that, he tried all that sort of shit, got about 700 quid, he thought, I'm thinking small here, the boxes were piling up behind the fucking fruit machine, somebody's got to spot this, and he thought to himself, I'm thinking small here, it's time to think big, And he went up to the woman behind the counter and he said, you don't know me. I haven't explained myself in this timeline, this loop. And she said, huh? He said, doesn't matter. He said, hey, give me the newspaper. I want to see the horse listings, right? And she went, right. And it was like the horses and that. And he went, hey, Turn it, switch the channel. This race is on right now. Chelmsworth. Two thirds, it's Chelmsworth. And he looked up and there was a horse race. And he knew who had won. He went, right. Right. And it was a horse called... Um... A horse called, um, Christ's Chin. That's the, hard to say. Limp Biscuit. Remember, horse racing horses have got kind of weird names. 
I once said to Donny that I worked with, I said, uh, I was imitating a horse race and I said, Penelope's Whisper. I said, that sounds like a horse, doesn't it? Uh, coming up in second place is Penelope's Whisper, Penelope's Whisper, Penelope's Whisper, coming up in... And uh, he thought that was kind of funny, so I've, rem I've remembered it. So it's Penelope's Whisper. A horse called Penelope's Whisper won. And he went, right, so I need to remember that. So he fell asleep, woke up on his couch, fell asleep, woke up on his motor, and he thought, right, so now I need to go and put this bet on. Right, so he, he opened up his um, phone and he's like, um, oh, how do, how do I, oh, fuck, how do I do this? Shit. So he remembered that I've got installed like the fucking lad brokes up or the William Hill up or one at Betfair or whatever the fuck it is. Um, I've got to stick a bet on and really bet big. But he was never, he tried it like honestly about a hundred loops, but he could never install the bastard thing in time. He could never install it in time. He, he tried phoning up. He said, I need to put a bet on. Right, when you just need, need to set up your credit card details. He's like, no, I need to, your card details, I need to, I need to. It wouldn't work until he walked up to some guy in the service station. And he went, mate. It was a guy like um, a, a lorry driver. We went, here, mate. See that horse race there? That one right there. Where was that? The horse race on the teller there. Where I stick a bet on. He said, uh, what is it? He said, I'm just betting you right now, mate. I'm betting you right now. I'll give you a thousand pounds of Penelope's Whisper. Disney win on that telly right now. There's only about a minute left. I'll get a thousand quid. Uh, but if I'm wrong, you give me a tenner. He went, ah, oh, fuck, I all right. And what is it? Is it is, is it live though? The guy went, is it live? He went, that's live. Excuse me, Harriet. And she went, how did you know my name? He went, it's a long story, but I don't have time right now. Harriet, is that live? And she went, yeah, as live as it will ever, it'll ever be. And then he turned to the guy and said, so how about it? You want to do this? Or are you a chicken? And the lorry driver like, I'm not a chicken. All right then. And they were watching it and Penelope's whisper, the fucking horse that had been winning again and again and again, um, I fucking lost. It fell. He went, what? The guy went, right. He's a grand then. And Craig went, um, what? Is that the end of the fucking loop? Well, how, how, how the fuck? And guy went, give me my fucking money, mate. And he like stood up like, look, no, he's sitting down, he went like that. Give me my money. And Craig went, I'm going to get a thousand quid. And the guy went like that. Out his seat, like dead tall, and like that. I said, give me my money, son. Like that. Big fucking hair, big tattoo, isn't it? Big fucking anchor on that one. And Harriet went like, I think you better give him his money. And Craig went, Aha! And he went to behind the fruit machine. And there, in about 10 or 20 um, Tupperware, containers was the money that he'd been like stacking up quite a bit but you know before he actually thought big and he went here it all is and he went the big guy went like count it what I said 
Count it. Count it. What are you in? That's your 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100. Finger in the wee wet sponge. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, 10, 20, 30, 70. That's 500. 10, 20, for the whole thousand. And he had an, an extra hundred quid left over. And the guy, the guy went about that. The guy, the lorry driver went, nice doing business with you. And walked away. And Harriet behind the counter went, hey, that was pretty unlucky, right? And Craig went, I guess so. And Harriet went, but you still got some money left over, right? And Craig went, yeah, got a, about a hundred bucks. And Harriet went, hey, you know, someone's got to take me out sometime. And he went, I could take you to the movies if you want. You want to go to movies? And she went, sure. i take you to a movie, right? You want to go see a movie show? And Craig and Harry went to the movie theater to watch a movie show. They got a pizza pie and they watched a movie show at the movie theater. The end. So it was all worth it. <laughs> so it was all worth it. It was all worth it. It was worth the whole thing. And you know what, and here's the, you know what, here, listen to this, and he didn't wake up. You know how the stories have been done recently, oh, and then he woke up, and he, but he didn't wake up, and it wasn't a dream. There you go. He didn't wake up. I mean, he didn't fall asleep. I don't mean, no, I don't mean he died in his fucking sleep. I mean, this, this, this is real. This is real. How do you know? Because I was a fucking lorry driver. And I remember the lot like it was yesterday. You know why? Because it was yesterday. That happened yesterday. The tattoos, I got them taken off. 